Hey everyone, Zan245 here with a little planetary annihilation footage I recorded post game. Our adversaries seemed to think that there was some sort of foul play going on, so using the wonderful Chronocam, I went back and recorded what happened. Hi everyone, it's Zan245 here, and um, well, now I'm going to clarify uh, a little situation as. Uh, my friend and I, Unholy Heretic, have just completely annihilated uh, a pair of guys and, uh, well, evidently they're in requirement of some education onto how to murder things on a planetary scale. And thanks to the wonders of the Chronocam, thank you for your entertainment, I can show you exactly how it was done. Right. Cam is set here. We can see everyone. It's a little bit buggy on the Chrono Cam. We can't see exactly what their commanders were doing until we've scouted them. So this is back right at the start, and I'm gonna crank up the time so that uh, you don't have to see it for 25 minutes. As you can see, hold on the shift key. You can see us queuing up standard base buildings. Unholy Heretic doing the same. Let's see if we can see. Now that is a lot of power plants and apparently not doing much with the uh, the old vehicle factory for that guy there. Let's find the other one. Okay, it's uh, building a bit of base. Uh, we see what he's queued up there. Reasonable selection of stuff queued up. Not expanding hugely, although, well, knowing Unholy Heretic, those are probably his things queued up there, not that guys. Let's see what else we've got. So by this stage the economy rating here is showing me an unholy heretic. A little bit of storage goes a very very long way. The storage means you can fall back on it so this guy spent all of his resources building a couple of factories and a lot of power plants. Build a few power plants, bit of storage and get building. See, at this rate, I've managed to already build an advanced bot factory and can quite comfortably, using all that m power that we've stored up, just over a million there, yeah, we go into, you know, minus 20,000. But we've got the energy. We'll crank up a few power plants. Jobs are good. Meanwhile, the commander, one of the slower units in the game, to be fair, he's going on a nice old wonder. Also notice that he built this missile array up here, fairly pointless as there was a mountain pass. So let's see how things are going down here. Basic tank factories, pouring on the tanks. So this guy, he's getting there with his advanced factory. He's got quite a lot of smaller factories. Looks like he ought to have the economy to support spamming out those bots, but tanks at range do do the uh, work against bots, but those defences are doing the trick over that end. Let's see how things are going over here. Ah, I've missed it. This is the great thing about Chronocam. I'm not sure, I'll just quickly rewind a bit and I'll show you how straightforward that was first then. Also kind of goes to show how effective, well, okay, uh, only a few of them, uh, I suppose in, in defence there was only a few, well, two missile towers and a few tanks. Group them up, send them in. Using the uh, planes just to scout ahead, give me that little bit of extra line of sight so I can see what's coming at me. And, yeah, there goes economy. Meanwhile, auxiliary base above his up there, not that it was really required. Bots slightly quicker than the tanks, and once I caught up, that was that guy's army gone. Didn't actually have a clue where his commander had gone at this time if I unticked it. 
uses everything that we were able to see at the time. So I knew I'd got the guy's base, but his commander did not know. So it's time to make another push on this guy's base, and of course now that I knew as good as dealt with the other guy's base, I was going to go and assist the uh, Unholy Heretic and uh, do a little bit of a flanking maneuver. Spots. They're taking a slight beating. There's only a few missile towers. Missile towers, just they're okay in that you can spam them up very quickly and good for killing scout planes. But um, yeah, don't really do much else with them. It doesn't really take a lot of work for some advanced bots to kill those. And obviously, this is an accelerated pace. That's when I first noticed his commander. I was like, ah, oh, commander. But then realised that advanced bots are actually quite good at commander killing. Boom. So, it's right about now, well actually it was slightly before now, that uh, my good friend here, Santi Giles, was uh, throwing out a few of those, you guys must be hacking. And, well, seeing as how thoroughly he got wiped, uh, I can understand the sentiment, but uh, hopefully this will clarify. Pretty much from here on, it was a case of mop up the base and find out where that commander had gone, because we hadn't got a clue. Take that there. Noticed a few of these mass extractors had uh, been murdered, but I realised that some of those had actually already been taken by him previously. Speed up time a bit. Thought we'd better speed up the uh, finding him race, so with all this economy that we had tanked up, cranked up a uh, few advanced bombers to go on the prowl. Uh, looks like I just missed him actually with uh, taking out those uh, mass extractors and the unholy heretics horde of darkness was uh, also on the prowl. And with an orbital satellite up it didn't take long. There you have it, the match. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.